All right, so I noticed that on a lot of sustained chords and notes that you'll hit, you will work what you refer to as the virtual whammy bar, and there is there's something going on there sonically, yeah. and you're not just bending the neck. It's, is this no, a pitch I'm not bending thing? the neck. It's not. No, I, with a dovetail joint, there's no way I'm going to bend the neck. This is not a bolt-on. I mean, this is and yet you do neck. some neck. I, I, know, I never do neck. I'll do you know like. I'll do this. I'll do. Well, you know, that's doing know, something. You know, shake and bake. But and that's the, different yeah. than what you're. Yeah. Showing what I'm your doing right there. What's happening is, you know, this whole area is alive because it's a soundboard. I mean, you know, it's like acts like a speaker, and the the sound hole really acts like a bass port. That's why you never want to put a microphone in front of the the the, the sound hole, because all you're going to do is get like all oh, the low end is coming out there. But what happens? The, this part of the top especially, you know, because there's an X brace that runs, you know, across here. And there's, you know, there's a, there's a harmonic brace over here, but basically, you know, this is all free to vibrate pretty much. Um, and what I do with this, it's, it's the forearm, and it's barely touching. It doesn't work so well on a classical because you don't have so much mm -hmm. there. The the um, the soundboard is structured differently. But wow! So I really hear that. And yet it looks at times that like you're not even touching it. But it's I guess your touching. your forearm is always in contact. Yeah, I mean, it, but it's it's almost like it's the air pressure of the forearm rather. Yeah, than, yeah it's not really. And sometimes what I'll do is, like I'll play a chord, and it's almost like a sweep kind of thing. And then I'm just about touching it. It's but you you got to remember with an acoustic guitar that the back is also part of the sonic picture. So you don't want to, you know, if you hold the guitar really tight, you oh, lose yeah. so much of what the what it has to offer. And, and so, you know, keeping the back clear, keeping the top clear. And you watch bluegrass players, I mean, they play like this. In fact, John Lennon used to, you know, have the, the J160E all the way up there. Um, and and they, you're really trying to, like, let the guitar do its thing. It's a, a little bit like, you know, if you, if you dampen it, it's like putting a, putting a mattress over your, your amp speaker or something. You're just, you're sticking something in front uh, to inhibit the, the vibration when you want to really maximize it. And so, and because I, especially because I had all this stuff using open strings and really trying to enhance all of that stuff, I want to keep as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I, and you compared the top to a speaker, mm -hmm. and I get that, but it's also kind of like a drum head as no, well. well. Absolutely, I mean, an acoustic guitar is a drum with strings. And you can see percussionists manipulate a drum head in a similar fashion to what you're talking about here. It doesn't quite work the same way as a skin because you can you can stretch the skin. Right. You can't do that, you know, like the tabla players do. But you can't do that with a with a guitar top. This you shouldn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I, really, I'm min minimalist when it comes to gear. I just have my there's an under saddle pickup. There's a mic. Cable goes out with those two channels. Goes into a preamp. I blend them together. I don't use EQ unless I really have to. You know, and then just a little bit of reverb and that's it. Because as much as I can, you know, I, I'm trying to make the guitar, you know, if I want to change pickups, or I'll change the angle of the thumb. You know, bass players do that a lot. I mean, you really see bass players really working the tone of the instrument. Um, guitar players, not quite so much, uh, unless you're Jeff Beck. I mean, you know, I'm, I, yeah. in some respects, my right hand is kind of in that area. I'm not playing from the technique. I'm playing from the the feeling, from the emotion, from the groove, from the the values that are actually the stuff that you really relate to. Because te I want technique to go away. I don't want people to listen to something and say, "Oh, listen to that technique." Is I want people to listen to that music, you know, you know just finding ways of, of making it kind of interesting and guitaristically compelling and, and occasionally setting myself ridiculous challenges, you know, like on all the things you are, right? I do this, you know. You know, doing stuff like that where it's just, yeah, you know, I could, it's like a personal challenge kind of thing.